All right, today I am going to go through the menu of the Reviver View Defibrillator. Uh, it's very simple. Like if it's powered up, the battery is good. All you have to do is press the center button right here. You press the center button, and it takes you to a screen right here. Okay. So this is the screen that we're going to go through. So what you do is you hit this button right here for menu, and it goes through a number of options: AED status, AED maintenance, AED options rescue options and help topics any of these buttons you can click on we were just with AED status so let's go to AED maintenance okay and it gives you all sorts of things that you can do perform an AED test upgrade an AED transfer data to a card which you need you need to do transfer AED card after you have an incident or something's wrong with the defibrillator to where you can transfer the information to a memory card and ship back into Defib Tech to analyze. And then you have the format uh, data card. Now this is what you do is like you format a data card and it completely erases whatever data was on the card so you can uh, use a fresh card pretty much. Um, and then it run application from card, like say for instance you have some information on the card um, like say for instance an update or something, you, you, you take the card and then you run application from card and that should update your defibrillator. Um, so that's that's uh, some of the controls with the AD maintenance. And then you have the go back to main menu. You see that? And then you have um, rescue options, okay? Rescue options, you have CPR breathing. Of course, that comes by default on this defibrillator as disabled. Um, it has rescue protocol and then settings. Um, there's a whole bunch of different options. I mean, you want to toggle through that, read the menu, read uh, the um, the brochure, the booklet that comes with it for instructions, and that'll help you with get through this uh, defibrillator. And that's uh, the defibrillator.